Let's get to Philly and Cincy. This line has actually fallen. It's now down to Cincinnati minus two, opened at three. There were a lot of two and a halfs early in the week. Philly is four and two. But yet, I don't know what to make of the Eagles with their record, Raheem, because they did not look great against Cleveland. But by the same token, they should have beaten the Atlanta Falcons. So I guess y'all are what y'all are, and they find a way to have a winning record despite Jalen Hurts not being where he was a few years ago. And with Philadelphia not being the same team in the trenches that they've been, despite all the sacks they had against the Giants, that to me far more about the Giants and the issues on the offensive line without Andrew Thomas, but be that as it may. Then you have Cincinnati. We know what the MO with the Bengals is. They're a tremendous offensive team. Their defense leaves a lot to be desired. I am not going to say their defense found it when they were playing Deshaun Watson and whatever the mess is going on with the Cleveland Browns. House? I see this game, though, and from a desperation standpoint, I think there will be far more desperation on the side of Cincinnati in this game. I can tell you confidently, there is no way in the world I am betting Philadelphia in this spot. If I am betting this game, I will be on Cincy or I am not taking the game. Where do you stand on Bengals-Eagles? I, I'm in, in alignment with you on this one, uh, JJ. It is, uh, one, once again, you know, a season-impacting, season-trajectory how are the Bengals going to make it to the playoffs impact kind of, of game? And we just haven't seen Jalen Hurts um, play great yet this season. Uh, and, and to me, I'm going to handicap this looking at just, just comparing the, the quarterbacks because I, I think the weapons uh, at, at receiver and, and quarterback is a, is a fair enough way of putting this into a side-by-side position and yes the Bengals have been uh, a, a messed up defense but they, they it looks like there were cluster injuries you know as the the season's coming along on the defensive line and maybe you're gonna say that they're healthier uh up front now um but really to me it's it's Jalen hurts it's Jalen hurts on the road um let me have Joe burrow and and these weapons I think it were that that's the correct side dream so this one's interesting because both of these teams have actually played the exact same teams recently. They played the Giants. The Bengals were laying three, three and a half. The Eagles played the Giants. They were laying three, three and a half. So earlier this week, you saw the Bengals were at minus two and a half point favorites. That line has actually come down to minus one and a half. So the market is telling us that these teams are evenly matched, except for Cincinnati's at home. And if you look at their records. The Eagles are four and two. Pythagorean expectation of three and a half wins. The Bengals are three and four. Pythagorean expectation of 3.8 wins. So you have two evenly matched teams which are playing in Cincinnati. And I do think the Bengals are more desperate, obviously, but there's no real way to quantify that. I think the way to approach this game is to play the total. I don't think either one of these teams are stopping each other offensively. I think this this total opened up at 46 and a half. We gave it out on East Coast bias over 46 and a half. I still would take it at 47 and a half where it is now. I think both of these offenses get off here. The one thing I did notice about the Philadelphia Eagles is that they've really struggled with slow starts. They have yet to score in the first quarter all season long. They have zero points in the first quarter, and they're 0-6 against the spread in the first quarter. Now, we're saying that right now on FanDuel TV. That's likely to change. I don't want to put the kibosh or the jinx on it, but I had to let you guys know. But I think there's going to be a lot of points in this game. Maybe the Eagles finally score in the first quarter. That's a classic don't kill the messenger, Raheem. We're not going to do that if it puts the kibosh on it. You're just sharing information and sharing data for all the ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls who are watching the show and are listening to the show. So there's nothing wrong with that. 